What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another Queen Sugar video. Now, today, I'm going to be talking about your boy, Ralph Angel. We're going to break down his character. Um, this is pretty much what we can expect from Ralph Angel for season three of Queen Sugar. Now, the video that you see in this video right here on the side, I'm going to leave it in the description so you can go check it out if you haven't seen it. And it's pretty much just, it's Ralph Angel's character. He's telling you, you know about himself and what you can expect um, for him in season three. He talks about the struggles, you know, the things that he's learned and pretty much the mindset of Ralph Angel and what he's looking forward to do in season three. Now, what to expect for Ralph Angel? I'll say this, man. It's going to be a struggle. It's going to be a struggle. Now, I read somewhere they said Queen Sugar season three is going to be about fatherhood. So Ralph Angel is going to be going through a lot with Blue, Darla, and, you know, pretty much just learning a lot about himself, his son, regardless of if, if Blue is his blood son or not, it's still his son. But he's going to learn a lot, man. It's going to be a struggle for him. Now, he talks about how he started off, you know, getting into trouble, you know, trying to provide for his son um, in, a, in and out of trouble with the law and... If you notice, Ralph Angel's character has changed a whole lot. He's got a lot more mature since season one. A whole lot. Um, he once he saw the opportunity to do good, that's exactly what he did. You know, um, I believe his character really changed once he really found out that the farm was his. That his father told him that the farm really is his because he needed it the most. It was his and Blues. He gave it to him. Once he found that out, it kind of motivated him to even do more with the farm, with the farm business, to take it a little bit more serious. You know what I'm saying? He didn't really care. I mean, Ralph Angel, his whole character was just like, look, I'm going to do what I got to do to make sure we run at this farm right. Um, and like I said, at first it was a big, a big deal with him and his sisters because they felt like Ralph Angel was trying to just take over. In reality, he was just stating facts like, well... You know, Pops left the farm for me. You know, I'm not saying I don't want to work with you guys. You know, he left it for me. Because when you go back, everything Ralph Angel wanted to do, any idea that he threw out there, they did not want to listen. They always had something bad to say about him. Uh, Nova or um, Charlie, it just seemed like they didn't want to listen to him like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like he had to prove himself. And like Ralph Angel said, he said he already been locked up. He already been incarcerated. What else do he have to prove? Like, he, he feel like he's incar incarcerated on the outs with his family because they don't give him that respect that he feel like he truly deserves. And in this season, I think a lot of that's changing now. The, him and Charlie's relationship has gotten a lot better. Um, his relationship with his son has gotten a lot better. And with Nova, it's getting better Um because we got to go back. No one wasn't really there around Ralph Angel like that. She was out doing her own thing, too. Even though she lived in the same state or whatever, she wasn't there like that. You know, these three really started to connect once their pops died. And once he died, it brought them all together. But Ralph Angel, season three, will be about fatherhood. He's going to be trying to take care of Blue. Blue is going to be asking him a whole lot of questions about his mother, where she's at. Blue is not stupid. Um, it's going to be a lot of backlash, in my opinion, with him and Blue because Blue's going to want answers. And I think Blue is going to surprise Ralph Angel because he's going to be so aware of what's really going on. He's not going to be, you know, a kid that just sits back and don't know what's going on and act like he's clueless. He knows what's going on for real. He wants answers. He's eager to know what's going on. Ralph Angel, in the back of his head, he's going to be trying to get over Darla. He felt like she was unloyal, that he can't trust her. Um, now, in this interview, Rob Angel says, he says, you cannot build a relationship with a, a shaky foundation. So in his heart, he just, he's telling himself, man, I can't, I just can't be with Darla because it's just, I can't trust her. It's just too much. You know, it's entirely too much. And then you got the people that say, including myself, you know, they say, Rob Angel, you should have, didn't you know this from the beginning? You knew Darla had issues from the get-go. You knew she was on drugs. You knew that she was sleeping with men for drugs, for money, and all that shit from the get-go. You know what I'm saying? 
it took for her to tell you that blue wasn't that blue possibly wasn't yours for you to start realizing oh it's a shaky foundation yeah it's been a shaky foundation since day one man it has once she started doing those drugs and it started getting bad the, the foundation was shaky from the beginning but he still he still chose to be with uh darla it wasn't until he found out that blue may not be his now what if blue is ralph angels then what will he give darla another shot you know what i'm saying will he will they connect again i guess we gotta wait and find out but his whole thing is he can't trust. He feel like he can't really trust her. It's back to how it was. When you go to season one, he was like, I can't trust you anyway. You know what I'm saying? He was in that same mentality that I can't trust you. Um, I don't think he will be back with Darla. The only way that him and Darla may, you know, get back together, I believe that's only if Blue is really his son. I mean, he still want to take care of Blue this season and forever. But if if the kid is not his as far as blood, I don't think he's going to let it go with him and Darla. I think he's going to just like have it in the back of his head. It's going to be eating him up that she did something like that. And she didn't tell. Now, I understand. I mean, I'll feel bad, too, if you went seven years raising a kid that you thought was yours. You know what I'm saying? All I say is this. You know, I, I don't know. His, I don't know the, you know. The situation that he was in, what was going on, because it's just a show. They don't tell us a lot of things when they was younger. But I just feel like if you knew she was messed up back then, sleeping with a lot of men, you know, on drugs and shit, I would have took that initiative to go get a DNA test early instead of waiting. Because it seems though she had a rocky foundation from the beginning. She had tr uh, trouble from the beginning and problems. So why not go get a DNA test early to just clarify it, man? You knew she kind of messed up. You couldn't trust her back then. You know what I'm saying? But in his heart, he just felt like the kid was his. And I understand that. Some parents say, this is mine. This is my my kid or whatever. And they go they go by that. You know what I'm saying? He felt like Blue is really his. So it was just like, I'm not about to, I'm not going to worry about no DNA test. I know this boy is mine. No matter what, this kid is mine. You know what I'm saying? But when you face with those types of issues, when you see those problems, you know she has some some problems with herself and she was sleeping with all them dudes and stuff like that. You had to question yourself. Like, man, I wonder if she was doing that shit when, you know, when we first start getting together and all that. I wonder if she was sleeping with dudes then, you know. So apparently she started to do that. So I don't know if you ever hit his mind like, man, I should go get it. I should just get a DNA test to make sure, man, because Darla was kind of out of it. She wasn't in the right state of mind. Um, I have to go do something else, man. I have to go make sure this shit is official. Now he's going to actually do it seven years later because of what Darla said. But I felt like based on her past anyway, he should have already been doing that. That's just my opinion. I know some people, just, they just roll with the flow. But nowadays, you can't trust people. You cannot trust people nowadays. You know what I'm saying? You can't. So, especially with her past, that I could see everything was good and cool, no issues and nothing like that. Then I can understand. But with her type of past and the shit she was doing, to me, it's, it's required to get a DNA test. That's just my opinion. But um, like I said, Ralph Angel, season uh, season three, it's going to be about fatherhood, him learning more about himself, um, connected more with Charlie and Nova, um, taking the farm business even more serious because... He's motivated even more to do this since he know that the farm is his. He's going to have to do what he got to do to step up. He also reminds Charlie that we got to, you know, know what's real and know what we need to be pretending to do. You know, he keeps that very um, aware to Charlie. But um, you guys let me know. What did you see from Ralph Angel in season three? Like I said, some people don't like him. I feel like his character has grown a lot, man. He can be out, on the, he can be out doing some 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 negative things but he's not he's very motivated um you don't see a lot of black men owning a farm at his age and doing what he's doing so i give him credit for that and also credit for taking care of blue and doing what he got to do as a man no matter what he's stepping up to the plate season three we're gonna see a lot from him from him messing with other girls from blue finding out from the struggles with him and darla his sisters the business it's about to get crazy man but you guys let me know. Queen Sugar Season 3 is about to go down next week. Um, what do you think of Ralph Angel?
leave your comments below. I'm going to probably break down some more of these characters before the season starts. So be looking out for them. But I'm going to get on out of here, man. It's your boy, Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace. Yeah. Super Bowl goals. I'm at the crib of Puff. He got Kaepernick on the phone. He in a whole different mode. Angel head, 2 a.m. for being whole. Just to show him how I treat the city like my humble abode. Hey, tell me if TD Bank is approved.